how do I fix that? Good, good morning. We got Coach and uh, Junto Dog Daisy here uh, this morning. It is 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. We are up and at them and ready for a good morning sweat. Um, today, uh, as a quick introductory here, uh, we have got uh, 12 minutes of our uh, one to five work to rest ratio sprints followed by hip circles. Um, I'm actually going to change that uh, in terms of the order to uh, hip circles first and then we're going to do uh, our sprints and uh, I will get to that reasoning, the reasoning behind that in just a quick moment. Um, I'm going to make sure I got my, I'm going to get the bike out. We're going to roll it out here. Uh, I had to move it around this morning uh, trying to get to see some stuff. So I'm going to get uh, make sure that bike is set up here um, so we can easily do this. And then um, we'll kind of go over this stuff a little bit. We'll start the hip circles and then it'll be um, sprint time. Uh, right after that. So uh, here we go. We're going to get this start, start this show. I guess we should start with uh, we should start with Junto senior dog who doesn't want to be seen apparently. Is it? Where is she? Junto Dog Daisy? Hi. Oh, there she is. Hi, Brandon. Or, excuse me, B-Man, B-Man Legend. I shouldn't, I want to, I don't want to expose your full name. I hope you're getting your sweat on. I hope you're getting your sweat on at the gym there, B-Man Legend. Junto Dark Daisy, what are you feeling? EDM today? I think you're feeling EDM. You don't want to go outside, do you? You want to stay outside with me? You want to stay out here? I, you want to stay out here, don't you? I think you should want to stay out here. Sushi is think about postmates. Order from the best restaurants in LA. No. Alright. Is this thing set up here? Happy hump day, Goichi. Let's see. <laughs> uh, yeah, be my legend. That is your dog. Uh, and she's working out with me, so. Let's go. Damn it, this thing changed. Fuck the table. <laughs> well. I think you should tell your, you, should, you might want to tell your significant other that instead of me. You might have more luck. 
That should be that should be fine, right? Right, Ace? That should be fine, right? Oh, come here. We got some eye boogers. We got some eye boogers, Junko Dogger. Alright. You wanna set the chair up or you want me to? I'll set the chair up. All right, chair. That looks good, kind of. All right, so we are going to use the um, hip circle again. Uh, we're going to look the uh, hip circle again, but we're going to start off with it today. Uh, the main reason that I'm actually going to start with it today instead of have it be secondary is going to be for the fact that uh, yesterday was a um, yesterday was a, a big lower body day for me. So uh, today I'm actually walking around a little stiff and a little sore. Um, so I'd like to use the hip circle as um, a activation. Um, to try and get me a little bit <clears throat> less rigid and like less stiff um, for the bike sprints. I, was it two weeks ago? Two weeks ago, I talked about using um, the hip circle for uh, post sprint work. That way, you're as fresh as possible for your sprints. Um, this would be like a good exception if uh, I love how we got. I love how Junto Junto Daisy is uh, in the background here uh, on my right and. Uh, perfectly placed uh, she's the security uh, feature of this house but um so I'm gonna use it as like a primer today because of uh, the volume and everything that I did yesterday was squatting in lower body day um, so that would pretty much be like my only exception really as far as like using it prior to sprints is for my warm-up um, generally speaking um, I wouldn't I would just use it for uh, I would just use it for uh, post post sprint work uh, to kind of encapsulate on that. So, um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to do a couple of different variations. We're going to do the we're going to do seated, and we are going to do uh, standing. It's a little bit different with seated with uh, using a chair. Uh, I don't have like a free bench, uh, like a like a um, like a bench that you would see in uh, the gym or anything, whether it be like at the dumbbell section or uh, even like just a free bench in bench press um, so I, since I don't have one of those I have a chair that has arms and it makes it a little bit more difficult for those who are larger uh, have like wider hips longer legs um, any of that because you need to have a little bit of space to move so I'm gonna try and sit towards the front of the chair as much as possible um, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna still go uh, around the knees Okay, and then um, from this, my feet, I'm going to have my feet hip width apart so that now I've created um, a straight line going from my ankles to my knees. Okay, and now my knees are lined up here with my hip. Um, and so with this, I'm just going to pull just like I normally would straight across or excuse me, apart. So from here. And I'm just going to pull, and we're going to go for reps of 20. 
we're still we're abducting here but we're also still getting a little bit of this is our feet this is our femur here even though this would be the part like this would be the head of our femur that goes into our hip um but if this is my femur here like this the, my hip coming out to my knee okay opening up i'm still getting some of that external rotation of that femur um, as I abduct as well and kind of pull this apart. So I am getting a lot of that uh, glute activation in the multiple um, the multiple gluteal muscles. Um, so now I'm just sitting and I'm trying to squeeze and separate. Squeeze my glutes and separate the band. Okay, so we got five. Three more. Last one. Okay. Okay. So now, uh, I definitely feel on my ass a little bit right now, um, and that's probably not the way I wanted that to come out. But um, it's probably not going to be the last time I say that, <laughs> and that's probably also not the best way to say it. But um, we're going to go uh, single leg at a time. So I'm going to work left leg first. Well, this is my left leg. I'm going to work left leg first while keeping my right leg stationary. And I'm going to keep, and then I'm going to work right leg, keeping my left leg stationary. So we're going to go one. And this one we're just going to do for 10. Okay, so that's four. Six. I'm going to keep this stationary. That's 10. We're gonna go one more last, one more round of 20 with both legs, okay? So that's going to be our uh, our hip circle primer today. Um, we're going to um, we're going to have uh, this uh, serve a different purpose today. So, generally speaking, post sprints um, we would have the hip circle would serve the purpose of uh, getting extra volume, in, a lot of extra volume in afterwards. Um, but following a day like I had yesterday, where it's uh, strictly like a lower body day, um, this serves a great purpose in order to prime yourself, kind of get ready, knock the cobwebs off. Uh, you can also do a dynamic warm up, but um, if you don't, and it doesn't, a dynamic warm up doesn't have to take a long time. But in case you don't have that, we're well, here, put this up now. Um, in case you don't have uh, a lot of extra, a lot of time, like, you know, hey, I got 20 minutes. Um, your sprints take up 12 of that. You can always consider a five minute cool down or warm up or, excuse me, two and a half minute warm up, 12 minute um, bike session and a two and a half minute cool down. That makes it 17 minutes. You still got three extra minutes. When you're in three minutes, you can perform a couple of dynamic warm up exercises to kind of get loose and get ready. Uh, you could also perform some banded stuff to get your lower half ready. Um, I would say, like, necessarily on the bike. Uh, yes, I love a dynamic warm up before exercise, any kind of training of that of that nature. But realistically, if you don't do an upper, if you don't include your upper body in the dynamic warm up or a warm up going for uh, like a bike session that like is small, it, it's not going to kill you. Um, it's really not. Um, so with that being said. We're going to, uh, I'm going to turn the camera now. We're going to, whoo, wow, we got to wake this shit up. Uh, I was doing just fine. Those are the only two times I've yawned this morning. I've been up for two and a half hours. So, uh, we, uh, we're going to get the bike rolling. We're going to get it on. We're going to get the timer set on the bike for 12 minutes and it's going to follow the same, same, um, pattern as before so it's, uh so that one to five is five seconds of work 25 seconds of rest so for every minute you get two repetitions um 
or two, yeah, you get two repetitions in per minute. So uh, two weeks ago we did 10 minutes, which was 20 repetitions. And now today we're getting 12 minutes in, so we're adding a total of four reps um, to this. So this is our progression uh, model um, for this. It's been ringing like a bike bell on our street. But um, so this is our progression. We want to prolong our conditioning uh, circuit longer every single time that we perform it. Um, because we want to accumulate more work. We want to gradually progress um, to getting to getting more um, accustomed to the exercise and get more volume in. So much like uh, we would if we were strength training and doing other stuff, we might want to say um, start with like three sets of five. Or um, if you're really, really new, um, start with uh, start with like two sets two sets of five, two sets of six, or something like that. And then the next week, you do, whoa. Shit, I might just need to get on the bike and just fucking run this shit through. But uh, the next week, you do three sets of five or six, and then we're continuously progressing. You can't just go, like, balls to the wall day one. Um, yes, you might survive. However, recovery-wise and overall plan wise is not the best because if you if you just go balls to the wall from the get go you're going to you're going to get burnt out you're going to get tired you're going to leave yourself up for injury as well um, and that's the name of the game is really to is to exercise and get stronger and better not exercise to get hurt and then take time off uh, so we we really need to really be smart about how you do that and doing two sets of everything is there's no shame in that game um, I think uh, too legit to quit might like that one and uh, uh, so it's just it's just where you're at you got it you have to kind of meet yourself where you're at you have to be honest about yourself uh, with where you're at in terms of how much you can handle and do um, I myself there's days I wake up you know like today my lower body stuff like I'm getting in this today I'm sure uh, later this afternoon uh, after work or something, I will, I will do more mobility or I'll get something in. Oh, something, something's got the Junto dog. Oh, she's going to go be security. Um, so, you know, I'll get something else in, whether it be mobility, uh, probably like an extended mobility and maybe even like a second session on the bike, uh, today, um, after, uh, after work or after I get some stuff done, depending on like how much time I've got left. Um, but like today, I could I could go and I could go train today, and uh, and I'd be fine. Uh, excuse me, I think I'm getting a package. How's it going? I can take if you want. I can take that for I can take that. I did get a package. Alright, so with that, I'm pretty sure let's just go ahead, let's get this thing set up. And let's hi. Good job. Yeah, she did a great job protecting the house from the delivery guy. She's fantastic. Alright. Now that I've got, now I gotta get this shit all set back up. Yeah, look at that garage door. Look at those chairs. Woo! We have got it made. Did you get a water bottle for uh, the workout there, Daisy? Huh? You want a white cloth for the workout, huh? Alright. One last systems check. We are getting music queued back up. So go. All right, no. Yeah. This spider web shit.
friggin' taller person in the family apparently was on this thing. Alright, screw that thing in. Get this thing on. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Okay, thought the batteries did that for a second. I am sick of these Old Spice commercials. That's your mama. <coughs> That's, your mama. That's not my mama. Yeah, that should be good. Let's see, one last comments check. Uh, no, FedEx driver will not be lifting with me. Honestly, it was a little sketch at first because the guy wasn't, wasn't FedEx or... Uh, anybody who just weren't, he was like in a windowless van. Let's see, that should be fine. I think that's gonna be good. Get my face. Ooh, I feel really tall on this thing today. I don't know why. Alright. And, uh, like previous, uh, like by previous bike sessions, uh, I'm going to keep the calorie count updated as well. Uh, I think we did 170-ish uh, last time when we did 10 minutes. So clearly we're going to be uh, breaking the 10 minute or the 200 uh, calorie threshold today. Um, all right. So we're going to go, we'll do... A, let's see, we got 12 minutes on there, so we're gonna put, we're gonna program this in for 12 minutes on our work, and then we will have a minute. We've already done the um, hip circles, so we can go ahead and just do a minute. Um, we'll do a minute of um, a good warm up, and then we'll get into our one by fives uh, on there. So, and there we go. So 13 minutes total programmed into the bike, uh, one minute lead in, and then we'll have uh, 12 minutes of our working one to fives uh, going here. Look at that, we're already at five calories. We're doing great, we've burned off a Snapple. God, I feel really tall on this thing. Just like always, the first like two minutes are gonna feel great. The next seven, eight minutes are gonna suck ass. And then the last, well, sorry, the next like 10 minutes are gonna suck ass. We got five seconds. Two, one. Just kidding, the first, first, all 12 minutes are going to suck ass today. Just kidding. That was not the most exhilarating thing I've done, but whatever. Yeah, I think I said last time, the last time I rode this, it was going to have to get service before I, I rode it. Uh, I changed that. Today is the last day I'm going to have to ride this before I get serviced. <laughs> I really wish this like 15 minute YouTube ad would shut the hell up too. It's friggin' bullshit.
Like, I'm not taking jazz class, no matter how bad they want me to. Three, two, one. So on those sprints, I'm getting like three to four calories uh, done in those sprints. So maybe even five, like if I'm getting four to five. So let's just say four average, which I'll talk about after this rep. If you're averaging four, there's 24 reps. 25 reps would be 100 calories. So that's 96 calories. Oh, shoot, here we go. Forgot to do it right there. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what's making that noise. This shirt. I think I know where to get this. Still streaming right now. You can walk by if you want. And when you do, can you hit the skip this fucking ad on YouTube? I'm learning how to play jazz for like the last nine minutes. It blows. Thank you. Please and thank you. Here we go. We're not halfway through yet, so we're gonna give the legs a break. Three, two, one. Damn, I was setting in more volume. Legs are feeling it after yesterday. Give those puppies a break. Keep the arms working. Still getting some stuff going. We got eight seconds. We're at 85 calories. There we go.
<laughs> you go three. No. Well, now we're halfway through. So, cue the Bon Jovi. We're halfway there. My legs are living on a prayer. I'm wanted at work, dead or alive. Should I keep going? John Bon Jovi would be proud, I think. My Bon Jovi references maybe missing this for one, but we'll just have shorter rest now, so because we're back up in 12. Damn it. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Uh, right at 110 calories. Three. Whew. That five stock. That five seconds is pretty long at the end here. I was right about the whole thing sucking. Mistakes were made. Kind of like nightmare feel. Jumping off the cliff and into the water. Mistakes were made. Hundred and twenty-five calories. Three, two, one, here we go. Alright, so we got this rest. We'll put us at three minutes. Then we'll from there we'll have six reps left. We're at 130 calories. Whew. Give those legs a rest. Back up in 13. Whew. Oh damn. Three, two, one. All right, so we're down to four now. So we're down to four. Oh. Thank goodness. My goodness gracious. Ten seconds. Three. Three reps left. Three little sprints. At 150 calories. Three, two, one, here we go. Hot damn. Two more, baby. Ten. Seconds. Four. 
One more time. Legs are on fire, like Ricky Bobby at Taldega. Stop, drop, and roll. Five, three, two, one. Last rep. We got 22 seconds left. Recovery. Keep the legs moving. I'm going to walk it out down the driveway. Once this is up, I'm going to come back and I'll sit down. We'll discuss shit. Five. Oh, bells of freedom. 172 calories is the final count today. 173, check that. Got a pretty decent sweat going. Ooh, sorry, that sucked. Okay. That there, this, that cat in the hat. Hopefully, I'm gonna get sued by Dr. Seuss for saying that. Pick somebody else's water here. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. All right. So. All shortcuts here. You try living with everyone asking you to reach the top shelf. It sucks. I hate it. That's all I'm used for. Um, okay, so that was, yeah, that was, um, got a good sweat going here. Um, great, again, great way. And I think for right, for right now with the, uh, with the at home gym or lack thereof really, um, I think it's really important to kind of cover some stuff that can be done by majority of the people. Um, obviously not everybody has a stationary bike, um, but you can do this too if you have an elliptical, if you have a treadmill, if you've got a row machine, you can always row for a certain number of meters. You can go hard uh, for five to 10 seconds, a couple of rows and really pull and then kind of let up and give yourself a little rest. Um, you can even apply this to running outside. Everybody's able to run outside um, and do stuff. You can go to the park, you can go to the street, but you can do an elevated jog or a, just a jog, uh, elevated jog if you, if you feel more comfortable or if you're up to that. You can do that for five seconds or you can pick that for like a block at a time and then walk and then find a new landmark, walk there, and then you have a new landmark where you're going to jog to that landmark and give yourself rest. So, you know, usually pick... Um, if you're going over streets, you can always choose to alter, um, the streets, you know, jog on the sidewalk from one street to the next, walk to the next street and then jog and so on and so forth. You can do sprints if you're really feeling like spicing it up as well. But, um, you know, it's, it's stuff that can be used. You can run up a hill, you can walk down it and then you can run right back up. That's your rest. That's your work to rest ratio. You know, um, the faster you, uh, the faster you get up that hill, obviously, uh, the harder you're going to have to work, but then your rest plays into that on the way down. And this can be your one to five. If you takes you five seconds to run up a hill, take 25 seconds off, take 30 seconds off, go one to six, you know, give yourself some time to recover, um, from those short bursts. But, um, that's is mainly what the, that's what one of the main things is here at the at home gym. We just have, I have a couple of, I have like two small dumbbells. I have my bands. I have a, a stationary bike right now. Um, you know, I've got a treadmill that we are fixing. So when that gets up, um, 
we might put some stuff on there. We might do some uh, like uh, elevated walks um, to kind of do to kind of run through that at some point. Um, it just depends on when uh, when that gets done. Uh, so that that's gonna be a future uh, that's gonna be a future uh, episode if we can get it working. But um, yeah, so today great workout. Um, obviously, we're online for 40 minutes here, 41 minutes now. But not obviously. But if you're just doing it at home, like obviously you're not streaming. You're not, you know, adding commentary. You're not answering any questions or any like that. So, realistically, this is a 20 minute workout for yourself. Um, by the time you set up and you get going, so great way to get some stuff in. If you only have a half an hour, you get 20 minutes in here. You go shower. You're done in half an hour between working out and showering. So, um, it's a great way to go, and I recommend it. Um, we're going to continue these for the Jim Juntos for right now. Um, and we'll just continue to add different variables. We're going to keep progressing them as well. I think it's important that, you know, we go from the 10 minutes to 12. And then next week, probably going to be 15 minutes or 14, depending if we just go uh, up in two minute increments. Probably go, probably go two minute increments, really. Um, but then we also might throw in some like barbell movements, like have an empty barbell here. Um, might go over some empty barbell movements um, that we can just work around with and play around with this if you're at home trying to piece together your own home gym. So, um, final, uh, I like the two, two legit to quit. I like it. The final reflections with coach. Um, before I get off today, um, I want to remind everybody that today is Wednesday, June 30th. July 4th is around the corner. Uh, so, Happy uh, Independence Day for all those because it will be past July 4th by the time I see you guys next. And then um, make sure that you guys uh, head over to uh, one of our partners and sponsors here, uh, 1776 United. Go ahead and enter the code uh, Long Live Junto. That's no spaces, just all those letters together. Long Live Junto. That's J U N T O uh, for 15% off at 1776 United. Uh, you need to get yourself some patriotic gear. It is summer. Grab yourself some tank tops. Grab yourself some t-shirts. Grab everybody else that you know uh, some gear as well. Uh, they have some awesome uh, tankards or some coffee mugs there. Um, really great hats. Uh, one of my favorite hats is a, is a 1776 United hat. Uh, it's uh, red, white, and blue uh, with the original 13 stars uh, flag on it. Uh, it's probably one of the softest and most comfortable like flex fit uh, stretch hats that I've ever worn. So uh, feel free to head on over there and uh, get yourself some gear. You will not regret it. It's going to be comfortable as all hell. So uh, stay tuned. We got the rest of the week coming up for you guys. Uh, today being Wednesday, uh, it's only two days until our live stream uh, for the next podcast episode. So be sure to uh, make sure you set your alarms, subscribe, and uh, join us on Friday night as we talk uh, some more uh, Junto business. All right. Well, without further ado, guys, this is coach signing off and I'll see you guys next time.